Yo, yo. Hey. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good. What you doing? Uh, I'm taking care of a few things that I have to do uh, for tomorrow. So that way uh, I'm a, a little bit ahead of the game. I had a little time to kill. So I oh, said, let me nice. come in here. Usually yeah. the graphics, the graphics that I work on for like to promote, whether it's this podcast or maybe it's uh, to promote the books, you know? And yeah, uh, yeah so, you know, it's a little time consuming. So I get to, uh, I get to work on it, spend a little time, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, you know, right after the holidays, I'll be able to get back on the books, really kind of push them. It gets hard now because we're so close to shipping that people were trying to, um, trying to order books before, um, before Christmas to get them for Christmas. And it, right. it's tight. It's tight right now. Like shipping is not the same. And I think because of the pandemic and since so many families are not gathering, instead they're all shipping out gifts like grandparents. Right. Are like shipping out gifts and you know, and since yeah. people can't travel. So, um, mm-hmm. and I could see it. I could say, I mean, listen, I sent, I sent some of the posters out. I, I must've sent like, I don't know, 40 of them at one time in one day. And like, I swear, I think I sent those like on December 4th. I had people just getting them like yesterday. Wow. So, yeah, so the so the shipping is crazy. Um, well, you gotta hold on to and, tracking them. That's what you gotta do. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah, they have that. Yeah, they, so they all have their tracking numbers. It's just, it's no, like, I'm wow, saying, you know? For anybody else that's listening, hold on to your tracking numbers. Right, you mail right. Some. Right. Yeah, something's yeah. wrong with your mic. You, you you sound real echoey right now. Do I so, really? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's wrong with it. All right. I didn't do anything anyway. different. Okay. By the way, um. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. in the living room. We have really high ceilings. That might be uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Wait. That's fine. But anyway, um, yeah. So then I have people that were trying to order the books through me because they want to get signatures and they want to order the books through me. And to hope, hopefully, to get them in by Christmas, and that's yeah. not working. That's not working. Like, uh, because there's a two step. I still have to order from the distributor. So what right. happens is they're pay- they're paying me. I'm ordering from the distributor since I'm ordering them in bulk. Uh, they're making a batch specifically for me, which is taking longer. You would think for me, they'll do it quicker. Um, right. And then they're shipping it. Like, I'm just getting a shipment now that was sent out, that was ordered a while ago. And I mean, I have people who have already gotten their books and um, I'm still waiting for mine. I'm like, yo, I wrote them. Why, why am I the last one to get them? <laughs> you know? So they have well, you to know come what you to need me. To do? You might oh. need to order extras just to have them. No, I did. I did with this batch. That's why I did with this batch. Okay. Okay. You know, I just didn't know. I didn't know it was going to take that long. I mean, the people who ordered in this batch, they're gonna get it before Christmas because I think I, I might get them like Wednesday and as soon as I get them, I'm signing them and they're going out that same day. You know, so okay. I'm gonna get them out right away and hopefully they get because they have them as gifts. They put they they buy they bought them as gifts. Right. So I feel horrible. So I'm here contacting, like I'm trying to see some of the people I know. There's a lot of them on there that I really I don't know who they are. And I'm trying to reach yeah. out and say, hey, you know, I apologize for the delay. But um right. It, it seems as though, and they're going, they're tracking, and they're seeing the way it's telling them, um, um, they're telling them that the package is, is arriving uh, later than uh, scheduled. Right. So they're getting that notification. So at least they know that I shipped it. I want to make sure that they, I hate doing that whole shipping thing. I prefer them to buy through Amazon. I understand. And then when they see me at the shows, I'll, I'll be more than happy to sign it. Or they can order it and then ship it to me themselves but when i have to order it it's a little bit of a i think after the holidays though i think it'll be okay so i'm not i I'm think not so. gonna sweat it. i think after the holidays and also if you order extras to have them here yeah yeah well i have i have extras oh. now so i mean when they come when this batch comes i'm, I'm gonna have uh, some extras i didn't want to buy a whole bunch of them i didn't want to i didn't want to order a whole bunch i wanted to uh i'd rather people if they just go through amazon that's cool you know so yeah. i'm good with that but uh, anyway, uh, all right. So today's um, today's topic. Um, you've heard me uh, bring this up several times over the years, many times over the years, and it, it has to do with freestyle music, 
whether it's a culture or not. I've had like debates with people regarding this because I tend to compare freestyle lock to hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. You know? And there's so many people that don't can't compare it. Like they'll argue with me. No, it's nothing like hip hop. Hip hop is like a culture. I'm like, yo, honestly, freestyle is like is too. It really is. When you really yes. the how uh, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. The whole thing is that um I don't think we defined it yet. You understand? See, culture yeah. uh, hip hop ended up adapting a style of dress. A type of music, a, a slang, you know, other art forms that went with it. You know what I mean? It's a whole swag about it. You know what I mean? So hip hop was able. You know, it has a culture. It has a story behind it. Right. And and that was my whole idea when I start talking about freestyle music as a culture is really regarding the story behind it. You right. know. Customs, you know, the arts, um, you know, uh, I mean, a culture, you know, the word culture comes from the word cult. And it's, you know, cult has a negative meaning, but it's really not a negative word. There's a lot of, you right. know, companies have cults. People who buy iPhones are in a cult. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. a short word for culture. It just un unfortunately has a, you know, um, um, uh, religious sectors, uh, uh, occults, you know, but they, you know, they, it's, it doesn't have that. They don't use the word because it has a, a negative tone to it, you know, right. the meaning of a cult, you know, so a lot of people try to stay away from that. But when we got to be real, that's what it is. And if we look at, if we look at uh, freestyle as a culture, um, when we look at freestyle as a culture, um, uh, we 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 can we can we can understand we can we can get an idea of where we're trying to go, and I think it's important. It's important to define it, to understand it as a culture, to define it, to really, really like. We really need to carve it out. We need to draw the pictures, and then those pictures that are not clear, whether it's for fashion, I think we need to kind of focus on it, and we need to we need to build that. Because if we build that, we can actually open open up a huge door for a lot of people. And I'm yeah. not just talking about artists. I'm talking about the community. I'm talking about people who want to get involved, people who want to make money in this business, mm -hmm. who want to be a part of it. I, you know, I tell people, get on now. Get on now. Stop stop trying to chase the hip hop because they already saw it. They're soaring. Like you could go up there, but you, you know, but if you love this music and you go and you're a fan come on board there's some smart people in this this community let's put our heads right. together you know mm -hmm. let's build let's build stuff mm -hmm. you know i'm excited about it you know so, so am i so am i listen i think everybody's ready for a new resurgence well i don't know i don't know too much about I don't think of, I don't know too much about a resurgence because I I don't think I don't think it ever died. I I don't think the no, culture. No, I mean, no, when I, when no, I listen, say that, I, I, mean, think... I mean, I mean, but but you took it out of context, but the way I said it, the way I meant it, I meant a resurgence from underground because we know it hasn't gone away. It's still here, but no, it's underground. But I don't I don't know if that's the answer. I don't I don't know if that's the answer. I don't, I don't know if that's, you know, I don't think taking out from being underground is the key. We don't need to be mainstream. Fuck mainstream. Really? For what? What's mainstream? Radio? <laughs> Casey? No, no, no. That's not what I, that's not what I meant by corn, mainstream. They're the cornballs that's, that's, that's absolutely not what I meant by mainstream. Okay. What I meant was a resurgence of the sense that, you know, we're in the face of the children. Not just the people who know about this music, but new people. Right. That's what okay. I meant. Okay. Because it you. could stay, it could, it could stay underground, but let the children know about it. <clears throat> yeah, because you know, you look at you know the old school hip hoppers. Because we got to use hip hop. Listen, we need a model. 
Everybody needs a model. Companies, huge, major corporations model other people. Artists have influences. Everybody mm -hmm. models. Sometimes you need a model. You need to, to something to kind of, you don't have to copy it. Here's the difference. You don't have to copy it. You can model it. You can look at what they did and what they're doing and what the impact. And when you look at hip hop, see, if people think about it like this, people say, oh yeah, freestyle, man, it's like, it's an old school genre, like, Ain't nobody listening to, well, uh, I don't know, man, because, you know, we still have the hip hop, the old school hip hop dudes that were putting right. out records the same time you were. Right. They were putting, they were putting out records the same time that you were. And, um, and now you have a younger generation that basically bows down to them, shows them that kind of respect. But you know what? The old schoolers are not making the money that the new schoolers are making. They're not. Right. I know. I know them. You know, they're not. I booked an old school artist, and I booked a new school artist in hip hop. The 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 payment uh, variation is is incredibly significant. I'm talking about <laughs> uh, uh, an artist that's making a few thousand compared to an artist who is making a few hundred thousand. And believe it or not, the old school of one, well, maybe because I'm an old school dude, um, is the music that I enjoy the mo most. And their catalog is in, in pretty, pretty uh, intense. You know what I mean? They have they have a lot of material, a lot of content that they're putting out. Mm -hmm. You know? What do you think? Um, I mean, I agree. We definitely have to model ourselves after after the uh, after the hip hop. Because they moved with the times and freestyle didn't. Right. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, did they really move with the times? Or did new people could they because we're thinking about the old school remember, okay, so we're gonna put together we'll put together Sugar Hill Gang, a Rob Bass, uh, a Dougie Fresh, and we could put them neck to neck with you guys, the old school artists. Right. Was it those artists that changed with the times? Was it the no, Rob Bass or the Sugar Hill? No, they didn't change with no. the times. They still did they the had same shit they did again. Right, right. The new artists came in and they, they didn't change with the times. They were the new times. Right. You know? That's they were the new times. They came in and, and they saw what was happening and they created, they did, there was no rules at that point. They didn't say, oh, well, we got to stick to this beat because... This was the old school. This was the beat. They came in and that's, they... That's it, exactly what I said yesterday. When you have these new artists, because you're trying to tell them, oh, well, you have to stick to this because this is freestyle. That's not what works. You have to evolve. Right. Right. You have to move times. You have to evolve. Not that you have to right. run totally away from the formula, right. but you add to the formula. Right, right. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, I mean, you'll get a lot of people that are, you like the Planet Rock beat. Planet Rock beat, oh, that's the freestyle beat. No, no, Holmes. That's a hip-hop beat. That's a hip-hop beat. <laughs> so right. if a hip-hop could beat, if, if a hip-hop beat can change constantly and still be considered hip-hop, then why is it that freestyle has to remain the same? Why does freestyle have to keep with the same beat to be considered freestyle? It does not. Because, because we need new producers. You have the old producers who are sticking to their formula. Yep. Yeah, they're sticking to the formula. Not only that, their, their ears, I, I believe the ears for producers get stale. That's why a lot of back in the days, I don't know about now because I really haven't tracked it. But back in the days, man, the new, new producers were, that's what they wanted. Once you got to a certain age, the ears get stale. Right. You know, they, they can't, there's certain things, they just can't hear it. That's why, as an older person, you can be outside. And we did it the other day. We were, remember we were in the car and they were banging some beats next to us in another car, and it was so damn loud. And we were like, "Oh my god!" We were like two old people. Oh my god! Oh, they need to lower that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, need, they need to lower that, man. Yo, I got that. Shit yeah. gave me anxiety, man. We started talking like that. I'm like, wow. I remember when I used to blast, and my mother used to tell me that shit. Yeah, that shit get me nervous. Lower that yeah. music. Right. <laughs> I think that's, I think it has to do with that. And you know what's so funny? You know, I went to audio engineering school years ago, right in the 80s. Well, really early 90s, okay? 
I graduated from CMA, audio engineering. And one of the, the reasons for that, they said, is that when you are, um, when you're producing music for so many years, the nerves, the nerve endings in your ears, they start to break down, okay? And the first frequencies to break down, okay, are, I believe they told me, it was the, yeah, it's the, are the high frequencies. Am I right? I think I'm right. Okay, so the high frequencies start to break down, which is why a lot of times when you hear older, older songs and older people are enjoying those songs, they have a lot of high, high end to them. Think about it. When you hear the, the old Victoria, what's it called? Victoria? Victoria? What's that? What's the old, old school? Victrola. Victrola, right? Victrola. Yeah, so when you hear them playing that, if you notice, these people can sit down and enjoy those songs and they really high, they're tinny. They have all right. these high tones because those people, as you get older, those high tones, the nerves in your ears, that, that those nerve endings that pick up those high tones, they start to die down. So mm. you don't hear, you, they don't, they're not hearing what we're hearing. Right. So that also happens with older producers who, especially producers who have been spending, you know, thousands of hours in the studio, a lot of times either blasting the speakers or, or have headphones on they start to lose a lot of those hearts. So they're not hearing tones. They're not, you know, they're not mixing and hearing shit the way we're, we're hearing. And a lot of them who want to produce the songs and then also sit in, in on the mix, those are the ones that are having a problem. You know, that's why it's a good idea for you know, any of the old school producers. If you want to produce, produce, but then hand your track over to a younger uh, mixer, a younger engineer, have them, have them mix it. You're probably not going to agree um, with the... Um, with the tones, with with the mix, because your ears are different at that point. Right, right. It was just like you know, recording in the studio for X amount of hours. You have to take a break because you're not going to hear, you're not hearing the same thing that everybody else is hearing. Right. It's going to sound different, you know. So, so what but, do you think? It, what do you think needs to be done to keep the culture going? I think we have to define it. Like, we have to truly, truly draw the picture. And, and, you know, the picture might be there already. Like, we have to find it. We have to, you know, is there a certain dress? Is there a certain kind of people? Are these people from a certain kind of area? All right, let's let's go to hip-hop. Can we define that? Oh, can, I, can I say this one thing? Can I say this one thing? You keep saying that that's hip-hop clothes, clothing. But... Everybody in freestyle wore those clothing as well. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody but they in didn't, freestyle wore those but they clothing as well. But, I wore right. sheepskin. I wore right. Tim's. They, right. Right. But what they did is they fucking hijacked it. They made that shit there. No, so I mean, I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, when you went to the clubs to see the freestyle performers perform, they didn't want to let people in with sheepskins and Tim's. So you had to dress a certain way to get into those types right, of clubs. Right, right. Because so those that's outfits, why people dress wait, that. No, no, no. No, because those, because those outfits defined a particular people. You understand? This is what I'm... Right, but exactly it wasn't the music. It was a particular people. <clears throat> it was exactly, which is culture. See, right. culture... A culture is a particular kind of people with a particular kind of background, with a particular, you know, kind of story, who mm -hmm. like to dress a particular kind of way, who like to right. walk a particular kind of way and talk a particular kind of way. And this goes everywhere. This is, look, this goes into rock. Rock, right. same thing. Sasa. Okay? I'm talking about the old, more of the old school. The old school. They, but the difference between freestyle and hip hop was. I'm going to tell you, we wore that type of clothes, but that was considered our lounge wear. No, you wore their clothes. Okay. See, this is the what? deal. You, you ended up wearing their clothes and not realizing it. Wearing you whose see, clothes? They adapt hip -hop. Wearing they whose adapt clothes? Hip hop. See, their no, 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 sorry, no. You're getting it wrong. We all wore those clothes because we were kids from the inner city. We all dressed right. that way because we were kids from the inner city. Right, and the uh, the hip hop cult, the hip hop culture adapted that to become theirs. 
Right, okay. that's what I'm saying. So, so, but let me explain right. what I have to say. When, I when know, we, I, I, draw, I, 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 I wore say. the same shit. But let me say what I have to say. Yeah. When we got on stage in those type of nightclubs, it, we couldn't dress that way on stage. It didn't work. It just didn't work with these people dressed up in the audience and then you're coming on stage with some Tim's on and some, you know what I'm saying? It just didn't work. So we had to right. dress up for them. You get right. it? Right. Well, I mean, you guys were in the brink of creating. You, remember, most cultures begin with music. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Music is, a, in many in many instances, punk rock. Think of punk rock. Think of hip hop. Think of rock. Think of salsa. Come on, let's keep on. What else? What other, what other musics have defined a culture? You know? But I feel, I feel, I definitely feel, I definitely feel that that is not just hip hop clothing. That was the inner city. That was the way we all dressed. Absolutely. Whether, whether you were performing right. hip hop, we all dressed that way. Right. But they came in and they said, hey, this is us, man. And right. then when it started. And it was listen, smart. Man, it was smart. But, but listen, but check this out. When people in, ja in Japan and freaking Ireland started dressing with the sheep sting skins and the Kangos and the Adidas. Where did they get that idea from? From you? From the freestyle people on stage? No, from the hip hop. No, man. Thank you. This is where huh. I'm trying to go with it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Right. The cultures begin, a lot of cultures begin with the music. What other, what other music is there that, yo, uh, by the way, real quick, anybody who's listening, number one, please follow us so that way you're up on you know, whenever we have a new show, which we're trying to do daily, um, you're notified. Also, if you have any input in anything that we're discussing, uh, just hold down the little microphone in the middle, hold it down, uh, ask your question or put in your two cents, whatever the case may be, let it go. And then it'll, it's going to go into a queue um, and then we'll be able to either answer your question or just kind of hear you out. So just want to bring that up. But OK, back. But do you understand um, what I'm trying subscribe, to say? Subscribe to the show. Please yep. subscribe to the show. <clears throat> but um, so you understand what I'm saying? So so it's it begins the culture. A lot of cultures. Do you remember when punk rock was big? Yes. All right. What eighties? Right. Eighty four. Yeah, late seventies. Right? Late seventies or really? Uh, eighties. Nah, nah. Yeah. You know are, what, are you kidding? I, are you kidding? A punk, punk rock. rock in the late seventies and CBGs. Nah, yeah, it was. It's no, just, yeah, no, no. Yeah, you're going way back. Yeah, I understand. That's where the origin I'm is. Saying, I'm saying, punk rock was huge then. Right, but what I'm saying 70. is when, peop when people started okay. really, like, defining it as punk rock, when people start, because people, when people start really spiking the hair and putting the different color hair and stuff like that. Remember the movie, uh, the movie 1984? Not, no, wait a minute. They were doing that in the late 70s. What happened was it became more mainstream in the 80s. So you saw you know. it. Right. I, I think that, but I but think that's the key it. with, right? I think that's the key with everything, though. Right. And see, I think that could be that could be the key with freestyle as well. Yeah, we've been doing that for years. Yeah, we've been doing that, but now suddenly something's gonna happen that's gonna bring it up and put it on the on the on the on the top level there. But think about punk rock for a second. Do you think punk punk rock had its own culture? Do I think it had their own ha culture? Their own yeah. culture. Did they have their own dress? Did they have yeah. their own look? Yeah. Did they have yeah. their own their own vocabulary? Did they listen to their own kind of music? Yes. Did they hang out in certain you understand what I'm saying? This, well, is, this you know, is what Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. This go ahead. is what I'm trying to say. See, to yeah. me, freestyle is it's beautiful to the point where it's very, it's it's wide open. Like we got we have people from all walks of life that enjoy it and love it. But it never really, we were never really adapted anything. If anything, we took from others. Like we went to a club and some of us dressed salsa. Some of us dressed hip hop, you know? I, I, I've, I remember seeing people dressing punk and going to these shows and you know what I'm saying? There was nothing that was actually defined. I, I want to know why. Why was that? Like, how did the other outfits come? Did it? Did it? Did it stem from the Odyssey? This is what I'm thinking. 
it's all right when Madonna now Madonna came real close because I remember everybody walking around trying to dress like her. Am I right? Right. You know, I think the cover girls probably had a look, but you know, they were, you guys were more probably I don't know more more dressy. I can't really see people hitting the streets with sequin well, and I mean, stuff like that. But... Things that we did. There were certain things that we did that caught on, and uh-huh. we saw it in the club afterwards. Like when we wore our socks over our knees. Okay. With the little skirts. Okay. We wore that, and all of a sudden, we saw everybody in the clubs wearing. It. Now we got right. that when we were in Europe. Remember, okay. the, the styles in Europe are a year ahead. Right, right. So we came right. back with that style, and nobody was wearing. Um, when I wore the ponytail on the top of my head, nobody was doing that. All right. of a sudden, that Chica Rica in New York was wearing that ponytail on top of her head. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? There were certain mm-hmm. things that we did. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. there was the striped clothing that we wore. All of a sudden, everybody's wearing right. those stripes. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. there was a few, That's... a few things that we wore that I mm-hmm. saw people wearing after we wore it. Okay. Uh, the fringe. Okay. We started wearing the fringe. All of a sudden, everybody right. started wearing the fringe. Right. So why didn't it stick? We we wore the like, seat. Hardly I mean, anybody was see, wearing like, the Look at look at look at look at even now, right? So if somebody but, but, did like, uh, we stole the sequence from the Supremes. Okay. You know what I'm there saying? Right, right. So, yeah. But how could how could we have? Hold, we got a message. Let's let's hear something. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? My favorite Mercados on the uh, stereo. What's going on, y'all? Good morning. Well, good afternoon, wherever y'all. At. <laughs> Hey man, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's uh, it's around twelve thirty our time, so I don't know where you're at. We're in uh, North Carolina. <laughs> but uh, um, but yeah. So so this is the deal. Like right now, let's say there was an old school show on TV or an old school hip hop show on YouTube. I can pretty much guarantee you that the host are probably gonna be dressed out old school, probably wearing a kango and wearing some chains. When, you know what I'm saying? They they wore that shit from, from top to bottom. Like, see, this is what, to me, like, where, were, where did we miss off? Like, and I don't think it's over. See, this is the deal. I don't think we missed the boat. I don't think, I just don't think we gave it any real thought. And I don't think that the styles or whatever it is doesn't exist. I don't think that they don't exist. I think we just haven't, chiseled out the outer layer right i don't i didn't i don't think we chiseled and so we're not seen you know if we went in we could look at a particular kind of people uh let, let's say for instance okay hip-hop everybody loves it you got white black spanish asian it doesn't matter okay but we know it predominantly began within an urban black community and then it kind of stemmed out into the people from that neighborhood, which was us. Usually right. the Latino urban that we were their neighbors. And then it stemmed a little further, went out to like more of the white urban and just stayed in the urban. And then when enough of those people took hold of it, then it, it blew out into these other areas around the right. world. I mean, you but there were certain things that were, there were certain things that I would have to say were freestyle. The, the big hair, that was definitely freestyle. Was that freestyle? Or was that eighties? Because that there's a lot of rock. Even rock and roll guys were wearing that's that big hair. True, that's true. What about the neon yeah. colors? What about the neon colors? A lot of freestyle people wore that. Again, I, I look at that more eighties because when you look at a backdrop, okay. you'll see yeah. you'll see they always put "I love the eighties in that neon lighting, and then they'll true. put like a Rubik. They'll put like a Rubik's cube. You know, I honestly feel. That well, freestyle. That's just why like we were mainstream because we had that mainstream look for back then. Well, check this out. Check this out. I believe because just like you know, hip hop originated within the black urban youth. That's where it originated. Everybody go, oh yeah, but I loved it. Yeah, so did I. I'm not black urban. I'm Puerto Rican urban. Okay, that's where it originated. However, freestyle, freestyle originated within the Latino urban youth. Same shit. Same shit as. Because our neighbors, look who our neighbors were. You know what I'm saying? We, our neighbors were those black urban youth. And even though we loved their music, 
you know, and that's why a lot of them from the urban areas love our music, right. you know? The, however, and, and I don't think that they say, oh, yo, this is uh, hip hop, and then we adapt it. I think that what happened was, just like you said, they they took what was happening in the 80s, which was the Kangos and the Gazelles and the Lees and the Adidas and the Fat Laces. That was the 80s thing. But they right. took it to basically paint the picture of who they were. And it was so still so cool that people were able to continue wearing it because it still had a pretty cool look to it, you know? Right. And, and it became, you know, people were able to go to clubs and they felt good about wearing it, you know? You're not going to get too many people, guys going to, to, the, to the clubs back in the day with some fluorescent pants. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Where was I? Who? What were we wearing? What were we wearing? Yeah, a lot of us were wearing hip-hop shit. A lot of us was wearing that, that adapted that same hip hop style. And I honestly, honestly believe that, you know, they, that that could have been a pivot there. You know, maybe had we had some people who were into fashion that just made some cool shit for the artists. Because I look at the artists, I think about the videos now. If I sit back and think of the videos, mm -hmm. what were the artists wearing? Right. Think about what TK was wearing. Think about what Noel wore on stage. Or let's think about the video with you guys, what Sweet Sensation wore. Think about it. Right. You know? Was there anything defined? Because it was pretty much, I guess, the word freestyle comes from just that. Free of any particular style. Maybe that's the true definition. Let's check these messages. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm in uh, Jersey. Uh, not too far from New York. I'm in New York mostly all the time. I go to the Bronx a lot. But uh, yeah, man. Nice to see y'all, man. And uh, this topic can never get old, just like freestyle. Can never get old. You know, it's funny. The other day, I, I was uh, on your on your podcast before y'all left, and I went home, and uh, <laughs> man, I put on my mix, and uh, I had like a good two <laughs> hours of uh, therapeutic freestyle <laughs> playing in the ear. So uh, yeah, thanks to y'all. Shout out to y'all, man. <laughs> Oh man, that's mad cool, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for listening. Yeah, yeah. We're glad you connected with us, and I hope you kind of you can follow not just us, but other people going to find the groups, and you know, you'll see the same bullshit just like with any place. But um, there's still a lot of love, and we're still we're all still building, man. Still, the artists are still building. If you name the artists. Most likely they're still out there, they're still performing, and you can find them on social media. And I, I always suggest always follow them and just see what's going on. Let's check this other message. Yo, can y'all believe the other day, um, matter of fact, I was riding with one of my friends and uh he had never heard freestyle music. <laughs> so I played a couple songs for him, and you know this man literally for like a month straight was listening to nothing but free like he had no idea. And we talk <laughs> about a man in his what, mid thirties? Wow. And he had never heard free, he never heard of freestyle music, and he 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 still listens to it to this day. It's not too long ago, but That's... for a month straight, man, every time <laughs> he he was in the car, or whatever, he's listening to freestyle music, man, and he's turned up. So it's crazy how now in in twenty twenty you can still get somebody and, and listen to it and, and just be attracted to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Thanks for recruiting, bro. Exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> Thank but yeah, the music. <laughs> the music has that thing about them. The music has that thing, that timeless thing about it. It really does. You know? The songs are the songs are very universal. The songs are pretty much about love. You know, that we can find something in all the songs. You know? But we pre we appreciate that. Thank you. Um yeah, and you know, and that's you know, and that's you know, I, I think I think once but, but we get you know, you know what he just did, he's introducing what? it to he's introducing yes. it to new people. Yes. That's exactly what we're talking about right now. Right. Introducing right, right. it to the younger generations. Right, right, right. And which was also the reason why we wanted to take this podcast and put it on stereo. Now we could have easily have done a live on Facebook, and you know what? We would have had a lot of listeners. We would have had a ton of listeners. But there would have been, it's almost like preach, preaching to the choir. I really didn't want to preach to the choir anymore. Everybody knows where to find. We promote on Facebook. But what we want to do is we want to eliminate the, the distraction. We wanted to bring people over here into a new platform, something that's new, 
something that's that's you know it's they're not being distracted by other notifications or other posts and um so that way we could kind of so we could talk to people and they could talk to us and that together you know we could build we're still very much active uh in this market you know we do have influence when it comes to this market we do have good advice that we could share with certain people we are an open book so we listen to a lot of people we listen like live why what you just told us about how your boy just you know got hooked man you know that's a beautiful thing you know and this is you know this is your know, people say hey, it's just some music no 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 it's our life this is what we do everything that that's why the name of our podcast is Where Freestyle Lives, because everything in my house is paid for with freestyle money. If you walk by and you uh, fucking- Our house is, our house is paid for with freestyle money. Our, every, <laughs> every, yeah, exactly. All, all their houses, they're paid for with 100% freestyle money. And, and, and we're not saying this to brag, we're saying this to let people know that there's still a lot that freestyle has to offer to the right people. And we're willing to, and not that we know it all. See, we're trying to learn also. So what we're doing is we're listening to you guys and we're trying to pick your brain so we know where to take it next. Because sometimes we get stagnant. You see the way we're talking now? This is me and Angel all the time. That's why we decide, well, let's put this shit on a podcast. But sometimes her and I, we can sit there and trust me, we're married almost, well, together almost 20 years. And, you know, sometimes we can sit down and we can have a discussion like we just met yesterday and, and it'll be pretty deep. And then we'll look at each other. And we said, damn, wish we would have recorded that. So damn right. We should have recorded that. That was, that was kind of deep, you know, and, and, it, and it, it has, a, it had a lot of value in it, you know? So we said, well, let, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's, let's record it. Let's, we don't talk about these topics anymore we wait till we get to the podcast so she doesn't know what i'm gonna say i don't know we pick a, a common uh a title and then a topic and then we run with it you know but these are things that her and i could speak on forever however it's just us two that's never gonna fix that's never gonna make things better what's gonna make it better is outside interaction i don't think any question is a dumb question I think I think we could we could we could feed off of everything. And again, like I said, anybody who's a fan of this genre and ever thought of 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 you know being in the business in the music business, trust me, I love being in the music business. Sometimes, honestly, it feels like you're cheating. It feels like you're robbing somebody because you're out here enjoying what you do and walking walking home with a pocket full of money. It's crazy. It's almost like you you rob it. How how does that happen? You know. So, and we don't have a problem sharing that. Not my money. I'm not sharing my money, though. <laughs> I'm not going to share the money in my pocket. But I'll Damn. Say, you know, Damn. <laughs> you said I'm not going to share the money. You didn't say you was going to share your wife. You said I'm not going to share the money. <laughs> <laughs> I already shared my wife, man. You kidding me? <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. You know, so, you know, and that's why we're trying to, we're trying to do this. And, we, you know, we think within the next, you know, few months, We'll get more into action, and as we get more into action, we'll probably extend the podcast and just probably have it open ended until you know the conversations die down. But we don't want to just talk about it; we want to really implement it. We want to There's be about that. Yeah, we we really and we I've done it. I've done it. Me and Angel have done it. There's a lot of stuff that we talk about that we've done, that we've attempted, and we failed. But failure is good. Fail. You're never going to succeed without failure. You have to fail. You have to. You know. The only way you're going to get that shot, man, is by shooting a lot. And most of those shots you're going to miss. And you have to. So and, and we know that there's potential there. And there's people that are in this industry. There's people that are brand new in this industry. They're not going to get the support. It's unfortunate, but it's 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 natural. It's 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 natural. It, it's not just freestyle. You could be brand new in the hip hop. You're really not going to get that many people that got your back. Everybody's still shooting for theirs. Everybody, so I, I, I tend. But maybe sorry. doing what we're doing, we can all as a collective become that support system for the new people in the business. We really, we really can. New we promoters, really, they, new promoters, new artists. Listen, you know? a lot of a lot of the big wigs in freestyle are not. First of all, they're not happy with me at all anyway. Okay, because I've had to. 
go head to head with many of them only to view what I felt was right and what they were doing was wrong. And they didn't like that. So I've already, I've already crossed that. This podcast here, trust me, we'll get calls. Hey, why are you, why are you sharing that information? Why are you telling people that? Why are you doing that? Why, you know, because that's what we do. You know, and for those people who really just tune in and we're not coming to you with this whole plan, like, oh, well, we know. No, we're trying to figure this shit out in the, on the fly. We're like, okay, guys, listen, we, we, we're doing a pandemic. We, we've seen the high of the highs and then we've seen this shit collapse. Now it's going to come back. It's going to open up again, God willing. And, and it's like, what do we do? What happens when you, our entire, you got to realize, you got to look at our community as levels. The artists are pretty much late 40s into their 50s with the exception of like a, a Stevie B and a few others who are a little older and are or doing little Susie, who's younger or, or, or little Susie who's younger who are all doing incredibly well okay who are doing incredibly well um but now we have a, a, a like one level it's almost like the entire freestyle community is more or less the same age and I hate to bring it up because it sounds morbid, but once one starts to die, the rest are going to start dropping off. What happens then? What happens to the genre? What happens to le legacy? What happens to the songs? When people start to do the research in 50 years and they have to do a paper on an old school lost music, are they going to get it right? Are they going to have the songs down right? Are they going to remember who? Are they going to know who sang what? What? You know, I, I'm all about legacy. I love legacy. It's not about the money. I want to contribute something. I want to leave something behind for my kids and my grandkids and my great grandkids. I want my great, great, great grandkids to come online and say, yo, look at my great, 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 great grandfather doing TikToks. <laughs> look at this Look, look, <laughs> look at this know? fool. <laughs> yeah, look at this fool. Look at this. He's doing, he's doing, you know, he's doing the soul glow. Yo, what's this, this? What the hell's he doing, you know? Let me let me hear these messages. One second. Hey, Latif and Angel, what's up? Hope you guys are having a good day. I have a question. Do you guys think that in the future when the, the A-list artists, when they retire, do you think the freestyle business is going to fold? Or do you think that the, the B-list artists are going to step up and save it? And I hope the phonies don't get involved. <laughs> but yeah, being that the A-list artist is always performing, I don't want the drama to die, you know what I'm saying? Good, good question, Tommy. That's a great Tommy. question, Tommy. That's a great question. Yeah. Good question. Okay, so let, let's define this. I, I have to jump in, of course. Um, um, A-list artists, um, this is what I'm talking about. That's that level that I'm talking about. They're more or less in their 50s. What's going to happen? B-list, this shouldn't be, we consider people B-list. That's almost like a, an industry term. And it, it's kind of derogatory. A lot of them don't like it. I had a, a thing called the Magnificent B-List that I put out and a lot of people had a problem, but they didn't understand the big picture I had behind it. Um, uh, um, phonies, I don't, I, I really think we're pretty much at the tail end of phonyism within freestyle. I think phonies have gotten such a huge, such a bad rap that it's so totally taboo to suddenly come out. It's I think they're going to get destroyed. So I think we solved that problem. I think that problem, if we didn't solve it, we definitely knocked out a few of its legs. Um, but that's the whole purpose of what we're talking about, Tommy. With, with we, We're trying to see what can we do so that way when the whole a live and I don't think anybody's going to retire. That's the question, actually, I wouldn't say it's a... I don't think anybody's going to re re retire. I think you're going to be like, oh, shit, they had a great concert last night. And then the next day, oh, wow, you heard they died? You know, I, I think that's how it's going to be. I don't think... I don't, We're not going to have retirees. If you do, it's going to be very few. And we've seen a few artists that retired a few times and ended yeah. up coming right back. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I'm, I tell artists all the time. I get called, yeah, I'm thinking I'm retired. I'm like, listen, do me a favor. Just, just kick back. Don't retire. Because what's going to happen is later on, you're still young. You're going to want to come back. And it's going to look silly. Stop stop with the retirement array. Just take a hiatus. Take a break. There's nothing wrong with that. I've done it. I've taken so, a break. Yeah. Susie's taking a break. Took a break pretty much all last year. She's not retired. She's taking a break. She can do that. If you can do that, then do it. You know? Right. Let, let, me, let me hear this other message here. 
So, so how y'all feel about like the Dominic Marte uh, in my eyes remix? Um, I thought it was fire. I thought it was a great way to integrate freestyle. A lot of people actually are probably like, wait, where's the original to this? And are probably going back to listen to the original in my eyes versus the remix that Dominic Marte did of a bachata version. Have you guys heard it? Um, no. I actually have not heard it, but I have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, we we and heard I've about heard it. it. I have heard it's great. Um, I definitely yeah. have to check that out. But yeah, but that's that's the that's the whole point. Yeah, that's the that's the angle. You're hundred percent right. More people need to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's Absolutely. how we expand. Wrong with that. Yeah, that's how we expand. Uh, Stevie B did it with uh, another track. There's a few people that are doing it. I think it's a I think it's a great idea. I think and it's so a great I. idea. Right. And, and, and like you said, it makes people want to go back and find the original. That's the key. It happens all the time. It used to happen with hip hop. People used to, you know, do a song uh, over over an old school track. Next thing you know, that old school track is like, yo, who was that? And they go right. back, oh shit, that was James Brown. Yeah. Like, James, James yeah. Brown became an icon within the hip hop community because Once of again, yes, sit- yes. Yeah, going over his tracks. That's a great point, man. Great point. I mean, just to be honest, Show Me was one of the most played songs. Um, When I was, you know, even growing up, but even, you know, like when I put a mix, Show Me usually comes on pretty pretty quick on my list um, amongst other ones from the cover girl. So, yeah, shout out to you. But, um, and it's tough, man, because, you know, you you almost got to look at it like there's so much out there now that influence, you know, the the reggaeton and the you know the new the new generation what they like and uh you know it's, it's, it'll be sad i've always said it why why isn't freestyle still relevant to today i mean somebody puts a freestyle album out i'm copping it you know i'm gonna listen to it every single song <laughs> so i mean yeah my only wish is that you know put some more music out there and uh maybe it'll influence a new generation of do their own little twist and then start doing their own yep. you know freestyle music you know that's right right that's why that's how i look at it because you got to look at other right. genres like salsa how long has salsa mm-hmm. been around you know what i mean yep forever it's been around forever and yep. you know what that's exactly where we're trying to head with this i'm glad you brought that up we're trying to head in the direction of bringing in these new artists these younger artists with these great great ideas that nobody's giving them a chance. Okay, you can't get a chance in hip hop, you can't get a chance in R&B, come to freestyle. Come to freestyle, we'll give you a chance. Let's see what we can come up with together. Yeah, 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 definitely, def- yeah, definitely a great point. Um, yeah, we support all the, we support all the music. Um, there's a lot of controversy out there because, but like any genre, you know, people put out shit also. But you know what? That doesn't mean that they should retire. That should not should not mean that they should quit. I don't think everybody should buy every record that goes out there. I don't think you should buy anything you don't like. I do see artists out there pushing, yo, man, you know, I got I got 100,000 fr- fans, friends on Facebook, and I only sold three copies of my CD. Well, maybe because only three people like that shit. You know Thank what I mean? So, you. so you need to go back to the drawing board and 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 fix it you know and That's make right. it make it make it better don't don't be don't be mad at it. the fans don't be mad at the fans be mad at yourself yeah and don't you can't okay. turn listen i got books out you know how long i you know how many years it takes me to write these books you know do you i don't go i promote them to make people aware of them but there's a lot of people that don't read i cannot force that down i could probably make people guilt people into buying my shit because I help a lot of people or, you know what I mean? I could probably guilt them in. I don't want to do that. That's not, the, that's not my intentions. I want to write to a point where a non-reader says, yo, I started reading books because of this. You know, I would love to get, but I have to get to that naturally. You know, I don't want to force people into that, you know? So any, any of the artists who are out there who can't sell records, can't sell, just go to the drawing board and do it again. Get the Every feedback. record is not a hit. <laughs> That's why they yeah. call them album cuts. Well, Every listen record to the, is not a hit. Right. Well, listen to the feedback. Put the record out there. And ask. Don't just say, you love my song? No, ask them, yo, what do you like about it? Or what don't you like about it? Hey, yo, it hurts, man. It's an art form. 
It's an awful, listen, I could get a hundred freaking beautiful reviews on one of my books, but the one I'm going to concentrate on is the one that says, yo, this book sucked. That's the one I'm going to concentrate on, you know, but I want to know why, why did it suck? What was it? You know, maybe they were just a hater. That's going to happen also. But with the, the people putting out the records, you know, try to find out what it is. Maybe, maybe the song was too long. Maybe, maybe your vocals were too low. You know, maybe the fucking the shit sound too cluttered. Maybe, you know. Yeah, yeah, maybe you need to remix out. it. Maybe you need to remix it. Maybe your freaking vocals were totally off. Let people or, tell or, you that. Or, 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 or maybe the song was just whack. Maybe the song was whack. Maybe it was a whack I'm song. But, yo, let's, spend let's money on vocals. that they don't like. Yeah, let's go to vocals, you know, because sometimes, you know, we get people, friends and fra- fans and family who they'll hear your shit and they'll say, oh my God, you sound incredible, but you're really off and you're hitting fucked up notes. This is music. This is, you know, people do, you know, you there's some people that are tone deaf, but there you're going to get a, 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 a lot of people who can hear those off notes. You know, you got to be honest. If you're looking for that kind of feedback, then take it in and say, okay, well, you know what? Let me go sit down with a vocal coach, not a singing coach, not a sing, but with a vocal coach that take, they'll teach you how to take the song that you're working on and make it sound great. Don't go for singing lessons. Never go for singing lessons, artists. Don't go, they're gonna teach you do re me and all that shit ain't gonna, it's not gonna work for you. Take the song you're working on. Take it to a vocal coach and say, I need to perfect the song. How do I do it? And they will work with you. Invest the time. You can't expect people to invest Time and money into buying your track if you're not going to spend the time and money to make it great. I agree. I know Peter Fontaine retired, but I don't know for what reason. Maybe he didn't want to do it anymore, but I know he retired. Maybe I don't know if he got tired of doing the, the, you know, singing and all that, but God bless him. Trust me, he'll be back. Peter's too young. He's too young and he's too talented. He'll be back. Sometimes, man, we kind of go through these little bumps, these little bumps in the road, and um, uh, and we just kind of give up. People, we all give up. But you know, sometimes, and 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 you know what? Sometimes the artists, other artists, are not going to encourage you to come back. Why? Because your competition to them, to them, which I think is silly. Um, but I think he'll be back. But I mean, it could be something that has nothing to do with the music industry. It could be just something going on with you personally. To be, you know, yeah, that's... why you retire. Do you know how excited I was when that song came out on the Bachata remix? Like I shared it with everybody I knew. I was like, yo, you got to hear this. You got to hear this. Yo, my aunts, my uncles, my friends, you know, like you don't understand, man. So my boy's a DJ in a club and he's like, yo, I've been playing that. <laughs> every night you know at least twice a night and you got to see the amount of people that get up and go crazy they go crazy because they just just the the thought of that song the original and then they start dancing bachata man it's a beautiful thing man so if that one song you know there's so many i mean oh, man they could they could you know I, i'm not saying remix all the songs but i mean if they do is do you guys see an issue with that or would you guys be like yeah clap it up you know salute to that What's your yeah, take definitely. On it? Remakes, man. If y'all could do remakes of the songs or do remixes of the songs, whatever you can do, do it. I don't, I don't, I, I think that's a wonderful thing. I think, I think it's an important thing. Uh, they need to. That's how you breathe new life. And like you said before, you know, people go back and they, 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 they do their research and they want to see, hey, what's, what, um, you know, what, um, where did that come from? So, and, you I know, and I definitely, I appreciate the plug and, and the people that put the record out should be definitely appreciating uh, you plugging it. And that's important and that's cool. And that's what we, and that's what we need, you know? Yeah, I, I, I definitely, I agree with the remix. Let's get some remix So Angel, out. I got a question and uh, let's see if you could, you could chime in too. But if, if let's say Carol G says, Hey Angel, I want to, I want to collab on show me. I want to do a remix on it. I want to do it like a don't take on it, but also keep it where the original is, is true to itself, would you be opposed to that? Absolutely not. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Listen, I love all the new artists, especially the Latina female artists, and I will support every single one of them. I don't care yeah. what anybody has to say. I will support my sisters in anything they do. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Nobody's ever going to take away from what Angel did. 
That thing is etched in stone. All people can do at this point is 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 make it sound better. Now, yeah, we will be picky because we do get people that send us tracks, and they're just not there. We have to. We do run a business, and we have to. We have to protect. You know her rep, and you know her. We don't want to. You know she has a, a a catalog of some incredible, incredible songs. So we always have to maintain that. You know. So yeah, we get tons of demos, and unfortunately, I got to be. The guy that contacts them and says, "Listen, man, I appreciate what you're trying to do. We're open to hear more, but I'm not feeling that track, and it's not. You know, it has to benefit Angel too. This is me speaking as an as a manager. Okay, I, I'm there to help even the new school action, but it has to there has to be a benefit for her. It can't be okay. We're gonna go on this track and do backgrounds so that way your record could blow up." We can't we can't just do that. They, we have to sit down, and I'm not one to think to say yes or no right away. I do sit on shit. I do kind of, and Andrew could tell you that I'm not one of those. Don't ask me a question to make a decision on the spot. If if I have the the leisure to take a little time to answer a question, I'll take a day and really think about it, and then come back because I try to think ahead. That was yo, a great what's question. What's up, Mercado? I like the freestyle, yo, yo, coming from Amadeo. Um, boom, 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 coat, boom, 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 I'm up, dump, scum, dump, scum, dump, I'm up, come, pen, 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 count, jump, 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 I like that freeze down, boom, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. That was dope, man. That was dope. It was a little long, hey, though, man. It was a little long, but, but it was that dope. That was dope. But yo, check this out. Check this out. Do listen. Do some homework, right? Go on to like YouTube and find the acts like the Cover Girls, Little Susie, Stevie B, TKA, Johnny O, Cynthia. Look for those artists, okay? Look for those artists. Find a song that really moves you, and come back next time. And do the same shit you just did, but give me one of them tracks. Give me. Let's see what you can do with that because that's kind of dope. I like it, and you know what? I it like makes it. my my it makes my crazy brain kind of uh, uh, move around. <laughs> but I liked it. Man. That was. Nah, nah, that, was, that dope. was dope. I was but, loving it. But uh, <clears throat> but anyway, listen. I want to um, the topics that we do. You know, today was about the culture of freestyle. Is it culture? I want, I want everybody to really think about this. Um, we're going to be coming back and forth to some of these topics. I don't want to pound topics over the head because there's so many of them. But we're going to start coming back and kind of making our rounds so that way we can come back to some of these topics. And, you know, hopefully by then, you know, people have, um, have ideas. Also, if you have any great ideas on a good topic that you'd like to discuss, um, find uh, on Facebook is best. Find the post where Angel and I are promoting the show and reply there. Put the comments there. Don't send in a message. I probably won't see it. She won't see it. But if you put it there, because there's not a lot of people commenting, so we'll see it. We'll get a notification and we'll be able to uh, to see. So that way we can play with the um, the topics because we're going to run out of topics after a while. That's, that's what's going to happen. Not that we're going to run out of shit that's going on, but we might run out of topics or we just might have a struggle with it. So if you come up with something that you really want to know and we can learn together, not saying I'm going to know it all, but maybe it's something that we can learn together that might be like, oh shit, you know, that's really, really great. Please uh, put it in the comments. A, a, a disclaimer, you might ask me about some topic that I think is corny. I'm sorry, I might not do it. All right. <laughs> so let's oh put that out there right God. now. Oh my God. Let's put that. You might come up with some shit. I'll be like, ah, I wouldn't do that one. I wouldn't do it's corny. I won't tell. I won't say it's corny, but continue. I might want to do it though. So even if you think it's corny, if I want to do yeah, it, yeah, Angel, yeah, Angel, we might fight about it. You might create a fight. 
you know, behind the scenes, but that's fine. That's right. we'll, we'll end up doing But yeah, it might just be a topic that we don't want to touch on or just not relevant at this point. So I just want to put that out there. I want people to think they'll put every topic and we're going to touch on every topic because we can't. Plus, we have our own topics. But anyway, listen, we're going to cut down, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. All of you, uh, Tommy, uh, Livewire. Who else was on there? What's Homeboy? I forgot Homeboy's name. I'm a Dale. I'm a Dale. I'm a Dale. Okay. I'm a Dale. That's, that's a dope name, too. Okay. <laughs> uh, everybody else is on there. I know Eddie's on there. I appreciate all you guys. Please continue to tune in. If you know freestyle fans, man, turn them on to the app. Have them help them create their profile and bring them into the show. We'll be back on here tomorrow at noon. Have them come back, come in, come with some questions. And though we only keep it an hour, yes, if the questions are hot and if the conversation is really moving, we will extend it. There's no end. I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you but anyway, anyway. I appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to follow us. Very important. Uh, when we put out the new show, please and subscribe, subscribe to, the new... to the show. Subscribe yeah, when the shows to come the out. Show. Right, subscribe to the shows also, um, and 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 then anywhere else on social media. Me and Angel are everywhere. Um, just follow us. Follow us, please. We have a lot of stuff coming up for the new year. We really, we, we you know, sometimes we gotta spend so much time promoting. And put it in your Facebook. Sometimes if you guys are following us, you subscribe to us. When we start these new things, you're already on board. And, and you know, we get to know you. And most likely we'll do a show and we'll get to meet you. And, and that's how we want to do this. So, Well, listen, anybody in the Chicago area, I will be there New Year's Eve. So I hope, yes. and it's my birthday, so I hope you guys can join me. Please yep, get the tickets now. Julian Jumping Perez. Yeah, Some get the tickets geeks. before they're sold out, please. Yeah, they, yeah. There's only a limited, I think, two hundred cars, and I know, I know that the tickets are moving. They always move. Uh, Seat Geek Theater, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, Stevie B, Angel OCG. It's gonna be Angel Solo, so you guys know, uh, and a bunch of other great acts. Uh, go check it out. But uh, all right, guys, that's it, man. I appreciate you. Be cool until tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.